video is what turned up yesterday with our new project toy taking the air filter off and I'm just going through all the fuel lines at the moment um, just because over time look how you can't really see the video it's just it's just rock hard no flex to it at all some do some don't but that was the fuel line there and I'm taking this fuel line off here I'm also be taking off the return. One of the returns is down there, and you can, when I get it off, you can. I'll show you how damaged it is. That's one of the first things. It runs, sweet. So on order, new gasket for the carb, and I'm going to pick up some fuel lines, fit them. Got a spare filter in the garage, and once them lines are fitted, the next protocol is cooling system. So yeah. V6 Essex engine. This one's paired up with an auto. Uh, is it a Ford D3 or C3 gearbox? I think it's a C3. So yeah, that's what we're up to at the moment. Quick update. Bonnet off. I think I said that before. Just ease of access. Um, fuel lines are nearly taken off apart from this last one. Uh, rad line. Uh, just because these are steel inside, they rot. So, probably get a new one of them. And it seems all right, so I could just sort it out. Uh, radiator cowling cover which makes the air channel through the rad. Uh, taking that out, just give it all clean. Uh, check the rad for leaks. There is leaks at the bottom there. You can see it coming through. So it's probably a new radiator as well. But yeah, we're just chipping away at it. I'm just going to go to the store in a minute, get some fuel line, put them on. Um, so then we can then move on to a bit of the radiator system this side. And just start to go through it all. Um, just slowly commissioning the old parts till it's running right and then get it in the air. And axle stands and do uh, brake overhaul. Um, and then just tweaking along. So yeah, it'll need a new thermostat housing maybe as well. Depends if less alloys, but uh, it just needs cleaning up. Yeah, I'll get a new gasket on there as well actually, and a new thermostat most likely. Uh, a bit worried about this fan. Not worried about it, but original fan from 1977. It's already had some crimps put on it. Yeah, I might just get a, a proper jobby, a newer one. Um, well, it's probably gonna end up with a new radiator as well in all fairness. The way that one's looking but that intake pan that sits there for the air to come through just going to hammer right that off now i've brushed it all back a bit with a wire brush um so that's one thing that can be done and just put out the way and um, take that bottom pipe off and yeah just chipping away at it really so yeah the scimitar I do want to point out one thing with this car as well is tool wise, very basic, all imperial. It's like your 13 mil is actually a half inch, three eighths, so forth, and quarter, and all that. So it's not too bad. And these are the type of tools I'm using at this moment in time. It's dead simple. But this tool here, some people use as a detailing brush to detail their engine bays like this. Ooh, 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 nice. Get rid of that. There we go. But I'm actually using it as a duster. So I'm just, just uh, <laughs> Bob, Bob, come here. You all right, yeah? No, he's a puppy. Oh. Get here. Oh. He's from a rescue. He's a re so I've just been down to the car shop to get some fuel line, but they haven't got any in, so I'll be here in a week or so, he said. So all right, I'll just take this radiator off so I can get it home, clean it out, and uh, yeah, see how fucked it is. One thing I did notice is when I picked this car up, it had no ATF or automatic transmission fluid in it. But I just noticed this little cap, which 
looks like the ones on the ATF where you pull them up and they got a little nozzle. You can pour them in. So I'm like, has this had ATF in before and it's got a leak on the gearbox? We'll find out when we get to that end of the vehicle. At the moment we'll just go through this, fuel lines, work our way all the way to the back. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? I'll take the box out, get it reconned, or you can get a second hand one for about 100 quid, or a recon unit for about 3 400 I think. Oh, a lot of people do a manual conversion on them. Just because they're like 3 litre V6 with an auto box on a car this big. Yeah. I was, uh, I'll show you the interior when I get to that part of the vehicle. Trust me, I'll end up being there sorting wiring out for a fact. But structures aren't too bad. I put a bit of paint on them, clean them back a bit. But there's no major like rot. Well, there's some like very thin bits of metal, but clean them back and just hammer them for now. But yeah, it's chassis wise. It's, uh, excuse me, it's going free. Chassis wise, it's. Not too bad. It says that while he pulls a massive clump off. No, it's all it's all pretty hard. Very greasy and oily, so and that's the perks of these type of engines. <laughs> kind of keep the chassis in the engine bay quite quite um oiled up. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So now I'm just back home. I'm just gonna go through the fuel system. What hoses we need, so that one there from the pump, pump to the carb, carb return, these are metal lines, metal lines, one further down, one, two, and metal lines all the way back to the tank, one, two, to the back of the tank, steel straps, and then also that one there, which is where... You fill up the fuel tank. So that'll be from the front of the vehicle, just heading backwards. But yeah. You have to get yourself a book, no matter what you're doing on any car. And they've put all this knowledge in here. So there is some things in this book that are a bit annoying, like in regards to... Uh, let's see if we can find the transmissions. Automatic transmission. So yeah, the Ford C3 transmission, brilliant. The gearbox, yeah, it tells you about torque converter, gives you a blown out diagram. Um, the other variable, the other box that was fit, it was a Borg and Warner box. Um, tells you how to, well, look at that one. Was We're actually on to the Ford one. But nowhere in this box it tells you how to do your adjustments. But nowhere in this nowhere in this book it tells you where the filter is located on the box. So you look through the whole bit, impeller turbine status, stub shaft, converter casing, go all the way through it. Nowhere in this diagram it gives you where the filter is. And then also Nowhere, I mean, you've got your drain plug, but there's nowhere in here that tells you in regards to doing anything for the transmission. Uh, apart from, it states somewhere in here about topping it up, but it doesn't tell you how to top it up, and it tells you how it doesn't need a service. It's like it doesn't need servicing. So back, I'm assuming, when they produced a manual for this vehicle, it was a lifetime style box, like some of the DSG boxes say they are and some of the newer boxes say they are. Um, that's not always the case at all because oil will naturally just break down and degrade in time. So this that is just like the longevity of the vehicles is designed seven years or ten years. Volkswagen will go, oh, we don't need to do it. Was this Reliant back in the day? They were like... Nothing in here regarding servicing an auto box because maybe they wanted you to go to the dealer or maybe they were expecting the boxes to do hit 100k and then everyone gets rid of the cars. So I'm a bit disappointed in regards to that. 
But yeah, braking system, everything's in here. Uh, disc layouts, you know, in drums. Let me just keep going through. Pedal box, electrical equipment. So, yeah. This is the first Reliance Scimitar I've ever had. So, I just thought I'd do a little video as I go along. But yeah, mainly just so I can like, keep everything up to date. But yeah. Nice. Oh, the radiator is actually in the car at the moment. Not back in the car, but in the back of my car. Ready to come in for a clean and have a look at it. It's definitely knackered by the looks of things. But yeah, all in all, just going to fire up the laptop and all some bits. I've got a new battery on the way and some other bits and bobs. But yeah, mine will never look as good as that. My paint job is going to stay exactly the same. Patina defect. Mine is uh, weathered. I just like on mine, it's brown with a little gold stripe going along the side. Like, still original 77, 1977 paintwork. So, yeah. This this bit here, the low of the lance, that's where it was take the air in before, and it sends it through the radiator. And I had, like, a metal bit. I took it out because it was really sharp, and I'll get a, I'll get a new piece. But mine's got fog, fogs here as well, which I'm going to get rid of. Uh, yeah. Well, I've still got the mag wolf slot rims like that. Wolf race mag slots or whatever they're called. Yep, so we're at this part of the car and then we're going to work our way all the way back. Yep.